Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions related to integration and also those uh, involving exponential and logarithm. Some of the things to remember. Uh, integration is the opposite of differentiation. For example, if we differentiate the function fx, so we will get dy dx equals to f dash x. So when we integrate f dash x, we should get back the function fx. All right. Okay. The general rule for integration is that when we are asked to integrate x to the power n, the first step is we need to add the power, right? Add the power by one, add one to the power, and then we divide uh, the function with the power n plus one. Now, since there is no limit for this integration, we have to add c. But in case there is a limit. We have to ignore the C. Okay, let's look at sample question 1. In sample question 1, we are asked to integrate 2x squared plus 3. So here we need to integrate 1 by 1. Okay, let's start off with integration of 2x squared. Remember, we need to add 1 to the power. Right, so we will get 2x Right, 2x squared, we add 1 to the power, we will get 2x to the power 3. Then this whole thing, we divide by the power 3. Right, then followed by integration of a number. So when we integrate any number, we just need to add x to that number. Okay, now since this is a, an indefinite integral without limit, we just need to add c. Okay, so that's the answer for part A. For part B is... Uh, the integration with limit from 0 to 1 of uh, e to the power 2x. Now for exponential, when we integrate, we just need to copy the exponential again, right? e to the power 2x. Then we differentiate the power, we will get 2. So this uh, e to the power 2x, we then divide by 2, okay? And then the limit is 0 to 1, right? We don't need to put uh, c here because there's a limit for this integration. So next step is to substitute these two limits into uh, what we have uh, obtained just now. Okay. So from here, first step is to uh, substitute x with 1. Right? Substitute into x. So we will get e to the power of 2 over 2. Then we minus, we substitute 0 into x. We will get e to the power 0 over 2. All right, so next step is to simplify. So e squared over 2, we copy again. e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So we will have 1 over 2. So e squared over 2 minus 1 over 2, since uh, the denominator is the same, so we can take out the denominator 2. Uh, and the numerator will be e squared minus 1. Okay, so that's the answer for part B. Let's look at sample question 2. All right, we are asked to integrate e to the power 4x minus 4 plus x to the power negative 2. Again, we need to integrate uh, 1 by 1. Okay, let's start off with integration of e to the power 4x. So we copy e to the power 4x. Then we differentiate 4x, we will get 4. So we write uh, e to the power 4x over 4. Okay, minus when we integrate 4, we just need to add x. So we will get 4 x plus when we integrate x to the power negative 2 so add 1 to the power negative 2 plus 1 will give us negative 1 okay and then dy by negative 1 plus c okay so next step is we need to uh, simplify so for e to the power 4x over 4 we cannot simplify for the we just copy again okay the same goes for 4x we copy again but for uh, this one the third term so x to the power negative 1 we can bring it to the bottom so that the power will become positive when we invert it now here positive times negative will give us negative so when we bring x negative 1 to the bottom remainder 1 on top so x to the power negative 1 we've been bringing it down we will get x to the power 1 or simply written as x okay so this is the answer for part a now for part b there's a limit eh? integration from limit 1 to e for x plus 1 over x so first is to integrate x. 
when we integrate x the power here is 1 so we add 1 again so we will get x to the power 2 then you divide by 2 plus when we integrate 1 over x the answer is log x remember when we differentiate log x the answer is 1 over x all right so from here we substitute the limit e into x so we will get e square over 2 all right plus substitute e here we will get log e then minus we substitute 1 into x we will get 1 square over 2 plus substitute 1 into log x we will get log 1 okay so simplify e square over 2 we write down as e square over 2 and then log e the answer is 1 okay minus when we substitute uh, when we simplify 1 square over 2 1 square is equals to 1 over 2 plus and then log 1 log of 1 the answer is always 0 okay so from here we simplify copy e square over 2 again and then here 1 minus half the answer is half since the denominator is the same then what we do is we take out the denominators 2 and then the remaining e square plus 1 as the numerator okay